Oli, a, a strong show of resolve with the ball there in the end. How do you find the position that we're in at the end of day one? Yeah, it's obviously nice to, to take those wickets there at, at the end with the new ball and it's put us in a really nice position to, to come back tomorrow and hopefully get those two wickets nice and quickly. And I feel like the way we bowled today, it could have been very different. Mm. Um, there was a patch there maybe after lunch, we weren't at our best, but we beat the bat a lot and I thought the boys the boys did well and yeah, to, to get those wickets at the end, I think it showed um, how well we're bowled today. How important is it that you stick at it and, and I guess keep the keep the rate within your check because you're right, there was a time when there wasn't many wickets falling, but you were able to sort of capitalise on a bit of pressure towards the end of each session. Yeah, I think we always know that if you if you keep it dry and that and reduce the boundaries that the wickets will come. Um, they, yeah, cricket's a funny old a funny old game without we feel like yeah, whether you're playing a test match, a club game or whatever, if you keep the runs dry then chances will will be created and yeah, it was nice at times there to, to restrict them and not let them get away and, and yeah, like you say, pick up those rewards at the end of the day. And let's talk about yourself, a pretty hostile few spells actually, not just with the new ball, but uh, how good do you feel and how fresh do you feel with, with the ball in hand at the minute? Yeah, it's, it's been it's been great just being back out there. Mm. I've, um, yeah, I've loved every minute of it and yeah, the way the ball came out today was obviously very pleasing and um, my legs were a bit heavy there at the end, but um, I'll take that going into going into the well, the next three days and and hopefully come back and pick up pick up two wickets tomorrow morning and, and walk off with a free throw. That'd be nice. Do you still have to almost remind yourself that you are bowling really well when you're not necessarily getting the, the wickets that, that tell you that? Uh, I guess so. It's, it's one of them. I, I'd rather bowl well and pick up no wickets and everyone else take them and I can walk off the field quicker. So, yeah, it's it's obviously nice when you pick up those wickets, but um, when the ball comes out nicely and, and you've got that good shape and stuff on it, it's just it's just pleasing that the hard work I've been putting in is, is paying off. You feel like you're bowling quite quick at the moment? Yeah, I feel like it's nicely uh, coming out nicely. I feel, yeah, there was obviously point maybe at the end of the day uh, it wasn't as as fresh as the as at the start but yeah no I'm feeling I'm feeling good and yeah the way it's coming out I'll take that and you're very well placed to talk about some of your scene bowling partners let's start with Dylan Pennington what is it that makes him such a, a promising and ultimately successful bowler so far this season I mean he doesn't stop running in um, we've seen that today he's he's hostile but also he's got he's got control I think he maybe walked off of eight maidens there at the end of the day. Um, so to be able to do that and and still be be threatening is is obviously really pleasing. And the way he's fitted into into this attack, and it's nice to have two or three bowlers that can run in and be really aggressive. And then Dane just comes out and and just does Dane's thing and just attacks the pads. And he obviously got his reward there at the end. And I think we've got it all bases covered. Um, so yeah, he's been a great addition, and he's shown again today his class. Yeah, on the sort of all basis covered, does it help having that little bit of variety throughout, not just the team selected today, but the, the squad actually, uh, having a number of options at your disposal? It is, and obviously Fletchy, Fletchy's been been bowling well in the twos and picking up wickets, and he, he was disappointed not to play. And I feel like when, when you've got a, a squad like that and depth to know that if one of us needs a rest next mm. week or, or whenever that may be, that you've got someone like Fletch sitting in the sitting on the sidelines ready to come in and, and chomping at the bit. So, I mean, a healthy competition is, is always good and a coach's nightmare, which, yeah, which is obviously pleasing. And have you got any sort of number in your head that would be nice to restrict them to what, what you think par might be, or is it not as simple as that? Uh, I mean, I think it's a good wicket. It seems like when the ball's obviously, obviously newer, it, it does a little bit more. But, um, yeah, we'll just be looking to, to wrap up these two wickets as quickly as we can in the morning and go from there.